Patriots fans, I have a challenge for you guys. So far throughout the month of May, there have been 117 shares on this channel. Thank you so much to everybody that has hit that button so far. But we're not where we were la this time last year. We are this close to beating the record in 2023. Go on ahead and share this video with a New England Patriots fan, especially if they like Stefan Gilmore. That's what we're talking about here in the first half of this show. Go on ahead and hit that share button. Let's get into it. Coming up here on Patriots Today by Chat Sports. Like I said, we're going to be talking about Gilmore possibly coming back to the Patriots in NFL free agency. On the back half of the show, the Patriots defense has some high expectations after they had a pretty fantastic year last year. But can they do better? Can they be a top five defense? One NFL analyst does think so. But I am Chat Sports host Ali Barafa. Let's go on ahead and get you guys up to date here on Stefan Gilmore. Of course, all you guys remember him when he played for the Patriots, but just in case you need a little refresher here, he did play for the Patriots in 2017 through 2020. He was a two-time first-team All-Pro, three-time Pro Bowler, and of course, we all remember that 2019 Defensive Player of the Year. He dominated in passes deflected and interceptions, but he was traded to the Carolina Panthers two years later due to an injury, a quad injury that was. He just really was not that same player the same year, so they did end up trading him to the East Coast. Carolina Panthers. But here is what Gilmore is now doing as he's currently playing for the Dallas Cowboys while he does while he is set to enter free agency. His 2023 stats in 17 games still putting up work there. One forced fumble, 13 pass breakups, two interceptions, and still 54 solo tackles. So obviously he's still making some damage here even when it means playing for the Dallas Cowboys. But here's the reason why I'm over here thinking maybe they could actually bring Gilmore back to the New England Patriots is because they have an unreal cap space this offseason. $50.6 million is what the Patriots are working with. And if you want to go out and maybe get another veteran presence in the secondary, my number one pick would be Stephon Gilmore because he knows the ins and outs of Gillette Stadium. He may not know the ins and outs of this front office and this head coaching staff because it's new to everybody this year, but I do think Gilmore can still provide a lot to this cornerback depth chart because when you look at the CB depth chart right here. Of course, you got Jonathan Jones, Christian Gonzalez, who we still have yet to see his full potential here in the NFL. And then Marcus Jones is going to be primarily your nickel here. You can add some veteran pre presence to this depth chart if you immediately pick up Gilmore in this offseason because we all know that Elliot Wolf and Gerard Mayo were really focused on the offensive side of the ball in the 2024 NFL draft, as they should be. But they only drafted one CB, and that was Marcellus Dial Jr. And as we all know, while we do have high hopes for rookies, he's probably going to be second, third string here in the depth chart, maybe even still trying to get some reps in here in the offseason and training camp, still trying to prove something. So, yes, it was a great pickup, in my opinion, but I don't think he's going to be ready to go here for the Patriots starting week one. Plus, they also lost a few cornerbacks so far in this transition from last regular season to this one. Miles Bryant, J.C. Jackson. And then Jalen Mills as well. They're all gone now. So it does make you wonder, all right, well, if you want to bring back some veteran presence here, then Gilmore might be your guy. And the latest report to come out about Stephon Gilmore is that he was open to returning to the Patriots if the Dallas Cowboys failed to lock him down with a new enticing contract. But don't get too happy just yet because there are also reports out there that he'd also be willing to go back to the Carolina Panthers. So while there are a few stops along his way, I could see the New England Patriots having the most to offer him considering that cap space and considering what he did for the Patriots while he was there from 17 to 2020. But my question is, is now to you guys. Do you want Stefan Gilmore back on the Patriots? Type Y for yes, type N for no. Let me know about it down below. Let's talk about it in the comment section. While you guys are doing that, I do just want to tell you real quick about a great promotion going on right now at Fanatics. If you use Pat's Combo in your Fanatics, at, excuse me, chatsports.com slash Pat's Combo, you're going to be getting this very nice New England Patriots red shirt along with a hat. This is going to be a fresh combo that you guys are going to need to rock in Foxborough. And let me tell you, this is not just for Gillette Stadium. I could easily see this being rocked at a bar. I could easily see this being rocked at a Boston Celtics game even if you guys want it. But you always know that Father's Day is right around the corner. It's coming up here in June. So if you could see your dad 
or any other man in your life wearing a New England Patriot shirt and a hat, I believe this combo is going to be for you guys. I want you guys to rock the best gear coming up in this 2024 NFL season. Chatsports.com slash Pats Combo has the best deal ready for you. Go on ahead, click that link, and you guys should be ready. It will be down in the comment section below under this video. Let's go ahead and switch gears here to the defense that the Patriots do currently have right now because whether the Patriots decide to sign Gilmore or not, they do still have really high expectations because this was the only bright light in the Patriots season last year. And one NFL analyst does think that New England has the opportunity to really crack that top 10, but more importantly, crack the top five when it comes to total defense. I got Dan Pazuda. I Hopefully I am saying that correctly, saying you'd be forgiven if you missed how good the New England defense was last season in the midst of a 4-13 year. The Patriots were ninth in defensive DVOA, 4th in EPA per play, and 7th in success rate. They had a lot of success despite the Patriots overall as a franchise not having a lot of success. But he also wanted to emphasize that New England's secondary has the potential to be dominant this year going up against even some of the best offenses in the NFL. And it's not just me who's saying that. Of course, OTAs are going on right now, which means media is being able to talk to veterans and rookies all at the same time. And here is what Kyle Duggar had to say about the Patriots secondary, of course, after he's coming off that fresh contract extension. If I'm being honest, I don't really see a ceiling for the group. As individuals, I think everybody definitely has room to grow. I know myself. I have a lot of room to grow, so I think we can have a tremendous leap this year for sure. And that's saying something because New England allowed 3,791 yards in 2023. That was 10th in the NFL. Obviously, the secondary knows how to deflect passes. They know how to intercept. They know how to lock down their receivers. And because you are still going to have a pretty insane depth chart if everybody stays healthy, that's why I do think Stephon Gilmore coming back can only help you when it comes to the depth chart, but if they decide not to, I still think you have enough resources to do some damage here this year. And that's why I'm just so excited for the regular season to start. I mean, yeah, we can talk all day long about rookie camps, OTAs, training season, but I am so ready for the New England Patriots because you got to look at what you still have in Christian Gonzalez. He only played four games last year. I'm really excited to see him burst out and have the year that we have all expected him to do so. Plus, you also have Duggars coming off a hot extension. He's going to be playing like he should have just got paid because he did. And not just the secondary. You also got to give credit to the D-line, the big men up front. I think they're going to be dominant this year. I think they have the resources to extremely control that run defense like they did last year, but also could definitely help out the secondary there with their pass rush. So when you look at the Patriots defensive line depth chart, of course, you got Keon White. You've got Devon, you got Christian Barmore, who I do think that D-tackle position right there is going to be huge for him this year. Another guy that also got paid in this offseason, so the front office is seeing what we're all seeing here when it comes to the big men up front. Here's what Christian had to say heading into this regular season. My goal is to take my game to another level and be bigger than ever. Be a baller. Let my game speak for itself. I'm just doing everything my coaches tell me to do, and I'll be the guy for my teammates. Emphasis on the guy. I think overall, if you mix in that front line, you mix in that secondary, it's going to be a really good year here for the defense. But I want to see what you guys are hearing with the OTAs going on, of course, with the depth chart, maybe even adding a veteran like Gilmore back to the roster. Do you think the Patriots could have a top five defense like some NFL analysts are thinking so? Because, I mean, you got to think, if they cracked the top 10 in several categories last year and now they're getting players back due to injuries, I think they could definitely be a top five defense. Comment why or why not. And like I said, if you guys have not already, go on ahead, share this video with somebody that's a Patriots fan, somebody that's a Gilmore fan, somebody that loves the defense of the New England Patriots. I want to get this video out there and you guys can help me. Go on ahead and share this video. And as always, subscribe.